Hey hippies, welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's Courtney Shavante here. I'm back with another banging resin tutorial for you guys. This one's going to be for the super icy Kenabling ashtray here. She lights up with LED lights, she glows in the dark, and she is absolutely stunning. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that I do put out for you hippies moving forward. And let's go ahead and get started and jump right into this tutorial. Right, hippie so first things first you know we already had to go ahead and prep our resin I'm using about 40 milliliters to start with and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that resin and I'm going to pour it directly into my rim you want to go ahead and create a nice little even surface here make sure you go all around and scrape all that resin out of your cup and get it all into the rim try to avoid the base now feel free to get in there with your stir stick or something like that just to make sure you get all those bubbles out that may be around the little crevices and everything because you know this particular mold can tend to hold some bubbles. These are the charms that I will be using here and that I will be placing into the tips of my leaves and everything. I have some really cute unicorns, I have these like little gold bang bang guns and I have these um, gold bows as well. And they are so fetch, they are, um, excuse me, <laughs> they are usually found in my um, Etsy shop. I am out of stock on I believe all of these designs right now but they will be restocking so make sure you do go favorite my shop so you'll be the first one notified when they do pop back up there but what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and drop them directly into the resin where they will um, be going and everything and then you can get in there using uh, one of your little resin tools I have like this little um, this nail art tool thingy that I use and using that I'm able to kind of flip my um, charms over just to make sure that they are face down because you want to make sure that these are face down so that way when you demold this ashtray they are um, you can see like the design on the actual charms so that is very much important here so just go ahead and make sure you have this maneuvered all around get all those extra bubbles out and then after you have everything placed where you want it and you have everything flipped over and just kind of um, where you need it you want to go ahead and spray some alcohol and let this set now be mindful where the bows are especially in those curves where the dips are inside your ashtray because they can fall so pay special attention to that area but yeah you're just going to allow this to cure now All right, so once that first layer is done, now we're going to go ahead and start off with our lights. And we're going to get these wrapped around using our paintbrush here. So I like to use this paintbrush because, you know, it's just kind of the perfect size and everything. It doesn't make my coils too big or anything like that. So I just use like a little paintbrush stick. And I just wrap my lights all the way around. Um, when they start getting towards the top, I just kind of push it down to kind of scrunch it down. And this allows me to create a spiral using these lights. Um, the spiral is way, 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 way easier to maneuver and manipulate than when the strand of lights are just like kind of out being a strand if you will because they start poking up they start coming out of the resin and they start doing whatever it is that they do want to do all right so now that you do have your lights coiled you're just going to go ahead and take the 60 milliliters of resin that you did have prepped and i'm just pouring in a bit of my glitter mix um the amount that i pour it will probably be about three little spoonfuls um into my resin and then i'm just going to mix it up really really well i'm going to pour about half of this resin that i have mixed here straight into my rim now i'm only pouring half so that way i can go ahead and set my lights into this part this makes it easier to help get any bubbles that may be trapped um, or that may get trapped just helps prevent the overall crazy look at the end. 
so what you're going to do is just kind of take your lights place them into the resin that you have poured into the rim place these lights make sure that they stretch all the way around to meet to the other side so you want to make sure that um, one end of the light meets with the other end you are going to have a little bit that hangs out so that way you can keep the remote out but that's completely fine use the stir stick to keep pressing those lights down and then you want to take the remaining your resin the remaining resin and go ahead and pour directly on top of the lights this is going to help prevent any bubbles as well and it's also going to help make sure that the resin is actually um, I'm sorry that the lights are actually submerged within the resin so go ahead and scrape up your cup get the remaining of that resin out because remember no resin left behind and once you do get all the resin out of your cup and you finish scraping I want you to go ahead and spray a little bit of alcohol to pop in remaining bubbles that do rise to the surface and then you're going to let that cure as well hippies All right, so once that last layer is cured, you're going to prep another 60 milliliters of resin. And this time we're going to be making this glowy. So I'm going to add in my glow powder here. I'm adding in a little bit, not too, too much because it is just the rim. And you just want to stir, 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 making sure that this is stirred in very, very well. You're gonna hear it kind of scraping at the cups because the glow powder doesn't um, dissolve the same way the mica powders do. But that's fine. We're going to go ahead and come in using a little bit of this blue mica powder. I'm adding in just a teensy bit of that blue. And then I'm going to come in with some white mica powder I'm going to add considerably more mica powder in the white color than in the blue and that's what's going to give me that snowy blue color with the metallic look that I was going for so I really really loved the hue of this and it turned out perfectly so that way it'll complement my little snowflakes and everything that you guys will see in the very next step but yeah, you're just going to mix those powders up really, really well. Spray some alcohol if necessary to get any clumps out. And then once you do have it clump free, I want you to go ahead and press down any lights that may still be poking up that didn't um, stay down the first time we went around before that layer of resin cured. And then um, you're going to go ahead and pour that blue mixed resin directly on top of those lights and completely cover. Now you want to completely fill the rim during this pour and you want to make sure that these bubbles aren't getting trapped so if you want to use your heat gun to move that around um, you can do that or you can use your stir stick but you want to completely fill this rim but you do not want to go over onto the base so be very very mindful and be very very considerate of how much you're pouring and where you're pouring at because you don't want it to overflow onto the base just because it's going to ruin the look then you're just going to allow this some time to cure hippies All right, so now we're going to start by going ahead and just removing any drippings that may have landed onto the base. If you can see over to the right here, I do have like this little keychain that I made using the remaining of the um, resin, that glowy resin that I used for the last layer. So that's what I did with that. But y'all will see the um, little short coming up on that soon if you haven't already. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this resin that I did pre-mix. I prepped about 100 milliliters of resin. I used a little bit just to, you know, um, dome my keychain, but we're not talking about that keychain right now. Here are the snowflakes that we're going to be adding into our um, ashtray. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of this clear resin first. And I'm going to start placing my snowflakes face down, um, creating... Um, you know the little snowflake layer basically and i'm just making sure that i press them down as close to the mold surface as possible because that's what's going to keep them from floating up in the resin it's what's going to keep them from moving all around and it's just going to keep any glitter or anything else from sliding underneath the snowflake because you want the snowflakes to be kind of on top you want it to be like the first layer and everything and we're going to be creating a little backing for these which i'll be showing you guys in just a few but first you just want to go ahead and continue um you know just placing these snowflakes and everything 
Now, if you guys are really feeling like a lot of the inserts and things like that that I use, um, I do always have it available on my Amazon shop, so you can check that out if you do want it in large quantities. However, if you don't want a million different snowflakes or you just want to, you know, use some of the different items that I use in my personal crafting and everything, make sure you do check out my Etsy shop. I have resin gift bags. I had I used to do the um, big boxes and everything, but now I have tiny little grab bags that are running $11.11 so you can get yours for $11.11 and it comes with so many different things so that way you're able to you know just kind of add to your resin and really pop in that bling that I am known for on this channel so make sure you do check it out it'll be linked below for you as well so you can see all the goodies I have available but yeah let's just go ahead and move on um, with this little part and everything so after you finish getting like your snowflakes in place and everything, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and start mixing in this iridescent chunky glitter that I have here. And I'm going to um, just kind of push that into my resin, making sure it doesn't overflow from the cup. And you want to mix it in so that way the bubbles, um, you know, don't have a chance to form and everything. So make sure you're mixing it really, really well and just pushing it in there, making sure that the bubbles have a chance to dissipate. After you finish with that chunky glitter, you can go ahead with that same glitter mix that we used before and add in about half a um, spoonful and mix that in really, really well. Make sure all this mixed in really, really well. You're not going to be able to, it's, it's just gonna create a really cool glassy look and everything. It's kind of hard to describe, but you'll be able to see it as I'm doing it. <laughs> but what you're going to do is you're going to start slowly spooning this on top of the snowflakes and you want to pour it directly on top of the snowflakes because this is what's going to keep it from shifting all around and moving all crazy. Once you do have all your resin poured and pour all of it in there, you're going to spray a little bit of alcohol to release any other bubbles, especially with this being a clear pattern and you're going to let this cure hippies. Time for our demolding. All right, so what you're going to do is just go ahead and start pulling at the edges of this. Be very, very careful. Every time I demold one of these, I end up cutting my fingers. So please be mindful of that. Um, hopefully you don't get you know any deep cuts or anything like that. But you just want to go ahead and start pulling at the sides and everything, start lifting them up. And as the, starts, as the sides start to lift up and give away, then you'll be able to kind of pull that base part off and pop that mold right on off. And this is what you have so far now I'm also going to be taking my sanding block and I'm going to sand down the really really sharp edges because like I said um, it does get really sharp and you don't want your customers fingers to get cut or anything like that so I'm going around on each leaf and I am you know just taking my time to be sure that I smooth it down nicely so that way no one will get hurt and no furniture will be ruined because you know who wants ruined furniture we spend a lot on our furniture and on this stuff so I just want to make sure that you know you guys aren't ruining any of your items or anything like that so after you finish um, sanding you can run you can kind of run through and over with your finger just to make sure it is nice and smooth and then we're just going to wipe this down really really well after you wipe it down I would suggest adding some rubber feet on underneath as well um, just so that way you know it creates a nice little barrier for your furniture Ta-da! All right, hippies, so first up, we have our glow show here, and as you can see, the glow powders are doing the glow powder thing. You can see this ashtray very, very well in the dark, and you won't have any problems ashing or anything like that. And even if you do, and you're a little bit blind like me, no problem. We have a little handheld remote here that's attached directly to our ashtray. We can just turn that little LED light on, and now we have a glow in the dark um lamp slash ashtray combo night light whatever you want to call it <laughs> all right but it's super super cute i love how the lights really illuminate everything especially with the glitter it just creates so much shininess that i totally love and this is what our ashtray is going to look like you know in sunlight direct sunlight 
so i'm really really feeling like these glitter colorways like i love how everything is really blending together it's definitely giving icy wonderland i love how the little gold charms look on here and if you can see on this little bottom dip there and everything my little gold bow started to shift but it's fine but that's why I am telling you guys to be careful. So you may need to check back every so often just to make sure nothing's slipping and sliding. There's a little side you action for us. And yes, 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 I am totally in love with this ashtray. And I hope you guys are too. I hope this tutorial was even easy for you to follow with me running over my words and everything. But if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know to leave them down below for me. I love hearing from you guys. I love featuring your comments. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for your support. Until next time, mwah. bye now.